fight number three of the evening. And we start, as we always do, with the blue corner. First up, it's Travis. Can't stop. Goon. Hello, I'm Travis Kuhn. Um, I'm 42 years old. I've been living in Dubai for a little bit over a year now and I work for MMI, which is Maritime and Mercantile International. It's one of the largest redistributors of liquor to the United Arab Emirates and indeed the entire Gulf region. And I come from one of the best places on earth, sunny Cape Town, South Africa. The reason I decided to do white collar was because, you know, after a couple of years of COVID and really not being that active and not really getting to do much with my life, I decided sort of prophetically at the end of last year that I would do the sort of um, cheesy Instagram post where I say I hope that this year is going to be amazing. Um, but I almost challenged myself so that myself in a year's time, which is now the end of this year, that I would have done some things that were noteworthy, you know, and that I would be able to record um, a really awesome, uh, amazing Instagram post, you know, to sort of highlight the things that I did during this current year now. So it was really just because I didn't want to, you know, be the, um, the normal guy and say the normal things like have a great year and all that sort of thing, you know. So um, I basically challenged myself and I said one year ago that, you know, by the, this time next year, I'm gonna have, you know, something noteworthy and, 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 and to tell a story of a life worth living. So since I started the white collar journey, um, I can say that I've learned a lot um, about myself and, 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 and how I am as a person, um, you know, how I like to challenge myself. Um, in terms of the fitness stuff, I was really doing a ton of fitness things anyway, so um, what it did teach me is that no matter how fit you are in other realms, that boxing just requires a new level of fitness, you know, and I don't think many people understand that, and I didn't understand it myself. But, um, you know, it didn't change me uh, too much. This is right up my alley of things that I wanted to do as, as, a, as a challenging year for myself. Um, so what I really enjoyed was meeting the people. Coach Frank, absolutely amazing. I, mean, I was hoping that I'd get um, put in his team and I was as a South Pole. I knew I could learn a lot from him. And uh, I just enjoyed the, um, the whole process, you know, and the friends that I've made along the way. I'm sure we'll be friends far beyond this competition. So how have I experienced Spartans and what makes it different to other gyms? Um, well, I come from a CrossFit background, so a lot of the gyms that I was involved in, um, there's a very big uh, impetus on community and supporting each other and encouraging each other. And uh, that's what I really love about Spartans. Uh, even though we just met each other only 10 weeks ago, you know, we developed a really strong bond with each other and you know, everybody in the blue team has been just so super amazing with their encouragement. You know, um, they've been very um, giving of their time and of their opinions on how they can help you. And uh, you know, sort of everybody seems to be in it for the same thing and they know exactly what you want to achieve. And so I feel like we were sort of rowing the boat in the same, in the same direction, you know? And I just love that sense of community here at Spartans. Karen, um, I don't do much smack talk, as you know. Um, we've come close, uh, or we have become close since we started this, and I really enjoy the reasons why you're doing this, and, and I believe in you, and why you chose to do this uh, whole thing, as, a, as have I. But uh, what I wanted to say is that whether we win, lose, or draw, you're already a hero and a winner in my eyes. Uh, I don't do much smack talk. I want the best for you and for me together. All I really want to do is make my friends and family proud. I hope that you get to do that too. And uh, you know, winning is not whether or not uh, we beat each other on the night, but just that we give a good account of ourselves, that none of us get hurt. Um, that we enjoy the process and we, you know, we're, we're completely um, ready for this fight. And I know you'll be ready. Um, Coach Frank's got me some stuff. Fred has been drilling, drilling me to pieces already. So um, I'm going to enjoy the night. Uh, I, I promise and commit to uh, approaching the fight um, in a sportsman-like manner. 
and uh, you know, I will be gracious in defeat, humble in victory. I know you will be too. And you know, I just hope we put on a, a bit of a show and uh, you know, everybody gets proud of us after this. So I'll see you out there and best of luck. Here we go then, ladies and gentlemen, weighing in at 69 kilos, it's Travis, can't stop, cool. Travis is opponent fighting out of the red corner, weighing in at 64 kilos. It's the wolf, Karan Sharma. My name is Karan Sharma. I'm 29 years old and I work in my family acoustics business. I've lived in Dubai since 1999 and uh, Dubai is home. The reason I decided to do the white collar was, uh, well, reasons, let's say. Uh, first, of which is that I wanted to discover my breaking point and to be able to push past that and break through, right? Uh, you hear about people running marathons, uh, doing uh, ultra marathons, all of that, right? But only once you actually engage in the process, you discover how much you're not only physically but mentally capable of doing, right? Um, that was the first reason. The second reason is that uh, ever since September 21, I've been trying to expand my comfort zone and do things that I normally wouldn't do. And uh, after having run my first 10K earlier this year, uh, it's, this was just the next natural step. Yeah, that's about it. Since I started practicing for the White Collar 3, uh, my body has obviously undergone a massive physical transformation. Uh, I was some 58 kilos going into this and I had to bulk up. So uh, apart from the actual training, I was weightlifting and I'm, I'm some 64 point something now. Uh, and uh, that was just the, the physical aspect, right? Uh, mentally, uh, it's been it's been quite quite the journey, right? Uh, I can't quite put it into words, but this this is one hell of an emotional roller coaster everybody goes on, right? Uh, I've changed so many things about myself that I didn't like, and uh, I hope to keep it this way for the rest of my life. I've been here since January, so much before. Um, I even took, well I didn't take part, I actually uh, attended the second white collar and uh, yeah, I just, I've been hooked to the sport of boxing, I love it. I was doing some two classes a day for six days a week, so that was about 12 classes a week for six months and uh, all the coaches, right, not just uh, our blue team coach Jalal, but uh, uh, Red Team's coach Frank, who's relatively new, uh, Danny, who focuses on fitness, Simon, one of my favorite coaches, who takes the, the strength and conditioning class every Tuesday. Um, just fantastic, yeah, in, in a word, really. Uh, not much more to be said. Yeah, so Travis, not one for trash talk, but, uh, and I can't actually roll this all the way back up, but I trimmed off this part because it was too hairy here for Simon's liking. And he said that I would be able to punch quicker if I had less hair there. So I'm taking it off here, taking it off here. You better watch out. Karan the Wolf Sharma is coming. Takeover 2022. Let's go. Here we go then, ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the red corner. It's Karan the Wolf Sharma.
Here we go then, ladies and gentlemen. It's Can't Stop versus The Wolf. It's Blue versus Red. It's Travis versus Can. Okay, give me three and five. Don't pass me in the back. Behind. If I said break, give me one step backward, okay? Back to your corner. Good luck. Here we go then, ladies and gentlemen, fight number three of what has already been a fantastic fight night. It's over to our commentator, Robbie Greenfield. I'm a Okay, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, it is fight number three. It is Tat Travis, can't stop Coon. Take it on the wolf, Karen Sharma, outweighing him by five kilos. Certainly a long reach as well, but darting around, the wolf is looking to establish himself early. In a flurry of early action. The look on Travis's face, this could be like he's just watching telly on his couch. He looks so relaxed and explosive when he comes forward. There's a lot of energy in there, there's a lot of intent. Though, as Can't Stop Coon looks to go on the offensive here in round one. That's a big difference in uh, reach here, Rob. Travis needs to make it count, leading with that rear hand, though. It's an unorthodox approach. Well, it's the small amount at the moment dominating the centre of the ring. It is the wolf, Karen Sharma. He's prowling after his prey here in round one. Looking to establish his draft. Jab, follow through with the right hand. Leaving his chin exposed though, Karen, as he comes forward. He's not protecting himself. He's been caught a couple of times with the counter shot. Oh, nice shot right there from Travis. Can't stop. And the referee calls a resumption of the action. One thing we haven't mentioned, Rob, this is the first South Pole we've seen this evening. Anybody out there who's been in the ring knows how awkward it is to come up against the South Pole. Some nice unanswered punches here from Travis. Big shout out to Travis's wife, Lee. She is in the audience. Karen, accompanied by his old man and his sister in the audience tonight. Big shout out to them as well. Both of these fighters keeping busy in round one. It's been a little scrappy, but it's been very, very interesting, Matthew Fortune. Yeah, it has two styles, two very different styles, very different physiques. A real oh, good finish though for this round in these final few seconds from Travis. And the Wolf, once again, just like he did in the opening first round, he's trying to be busy, he's trying to occupy the centre of that ring, and he comes forward with a little flurry. Lots of activity when he comes forward from Karen, that will get the attention of the judges. Wants to try and make a little bit more contact though as he comes forward. Nice evasive work there from Travis, lovely little duck and weave there. Out of the way of those punches, showing a few skills there, Matthew Fortune. Yeah, absolutely. Light on his feet, you can see the way he moves, he's skipping in between. Contact, certainly looks the lighter man, despite carrying the far heavier frame. You can't fault the Wolves' effort, you can't fault his enthusiasm, but Travis is doing a good job of neutralising that threat as we've got a gaggle of supporters in here behind us. Making their voices heard ringside, ladies and gents. What a fight this is. Fight number three of Fight Night 3 of Spartan White Collar Dubai. I really like how Travis is backing up and still throwing shots as he gets out of the way. He's caught Karen with a couple of good counter shots. Really impressive. Yeah, showing, showcasing all of those skills that he's learned over the course of this camp. These two gruelling months of training that these guys put themselves through to produce it all on the night. It is round number two, into the final 30 seconds of it, and the fighters just sizing each other That's up. That's a good one shot from effort. Travis. Core Karen as he came forward. Travis just staying out of range. He's got that additional reach advantage. He's used it beautifully throughout this fight. Karen, though, go into the body. Good work. We've got a rugby tackle in there, ladies and gents. It is not rugby, gents. We're back up on our feet. It is the sweet science, of course, that we're looking for. Nice switch there from... Here 
we go then. Round number three between Travis Can't Stop Coon and Karan the Wolf Sharma. Give it up, ladies and gentlemen, for these two fighters as they go all out for the final two minutes of this contest. What an effort it's been from both men. Lovely little short right there. A short right hook by Travis Can't Stop. Better from Karen trying to work the body as he comes in under the big long reach. Best means of doing damage to Travis will be to work that body. He's doing his best. I love how he keeps coming forward. Karen, real heart from the man in red. 100% heart from Karen, but he's staying composed in there, Travis. He's boxing. He's on the back foot. He's changing directions. He's doing all the things he's supposed to do in there to utilize that reach advantage. He said in the first round, Rob, fighting against the southpaw is so tricky. You've got to try and get on the outside of his lead foot and then somehow try and work the body as well. It's a big ask for Karen, but he's shown that he's learned plenty in these last few weeks. Into the final minute we go then, and both of these guys have absolutely given all of themselves out here in the ring over the course of these three rounds. Travis can't stop Kuhn boxing with class here in round number three. Oh, Karan just needs to get onto the inside here. He just needs to penetrate those defences. He goes for the big right hand, but it tied up. One last big effort here is shot from Travis once again. Travis has done a wonderful job here of maintaining his composure. He's boxed beautifully throughout. Nothing else left there. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we've got to show an appreciation for these fighters in the ring one more time. Give it up for Travis and for Kanan. Well done, guys. Well done, well done, well done. Right then, want to welcome another special guest into this boxing ring. A man who's actually invested in Spartans boxing. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Mr. Miz Rahman. Where are you, Miz? Here he is. Come on in. Oh, look at you. You're looking sharp. I can see why you're an investor. You've got more money than saints, I think. Come on in, Miz. That was class. Did you enjoy that? Indeed, it was fantastic. Amazing to watch. Well done to both fighters. I've got to ask as well, you've invested in Spartans for a good reason. Why Spartans boxing? Well, Naz was very inspirational with his story and his journey founding Spartans. And I just had to be part of it. I couldn't miss out on the opportunity. Well, listen, it is great to have you as part of the Spartans family. You are looking resplendent as well, sir. Right, Miz is in with us. The result is in. I've got to be honest, ladies and gentlemen, I've got no idea who has won this fight. I have no idea. Right then. A reminder, we've had two victories for the blue team already. I can tell you the winner of fight number three by unanimous decision, your victor is Travis Coon Blue Corner. Well done, Travis. Congratulations to you, Carl. I'm going to grab you. You've got a lot of your supporters here, a lot of friends and family. A quick word from those guys. <laughs> Sorry, Carl, I said a quick word for your friends and family down here. Thank you for coming out, everybody. Appreciate it. Big love. That's about it. Disappointed in what's the overriding emotion? I thought you were good in here. I thought you were class. What's the overriding emotion? It's alright, I think. 
It's a uh, learning, not a loss. I'm gonna continue boxing. I'm gonna continue fighting uh, amateur. And that's about it. Well, listen, you were very good. You did yourself proud in the uh, Ladies and gentlemen, one more time. Let's come on, Chuck. Well done, uh, I'll get you to pose for a photo with Ms. Lachman. Ms. you step in. Got a picture here. Right then, I'll walk over to our victor, ladies and gentlemen. It's the one and only Travis Coon, ladies and gentlemen. Amazing Travis, and you're smiling. That tells me you're happy with your night's work. Give me your thoughts after that incredible fight. Yeah, I thought it was a lot scrappier uh, than I wanted it to be, but I think that he was trying to um, negate my reach. So he was trying to get closer to me the whole time, and it ended up in a lot of hugging. Uh, I would have preferred to throw some bombs on the back, but maybe next time. Hey, it was what a journey it's been. How much have you enjoyed this? Not just about tonight. You've been building up to this for a few weeks. Have you loved every single second of it? Yeah, I mean, this has been an amazing experience. I mean, there's Simon Aziz, uh, Nick. They put on such an amazing show. I don't think many people can get a chance to do this in front of this kind of crowd. And uh, everything was great, except uh, in this week, I had a, uh, my wife had a death in the family. So. Um, that took the team out of us a little bit, and I just wanted to shout out to her because I know she's been taking some strain, but, you know, hopefully today, not that I'll box with him because he's gone, but box with everybody else that's still got lead in their pencil, and they can, uh, they can do things that make them feel alive. Well, listen, Travis, you've done your wife proud. You've done him proud as well, ladies and gentlemen. One more time, it's Travis Coon. <laughs>